good morning to one and all present over here our school principal reverend sister dallas teachers and my dear students i am thrilled to welcome you all in our storytelling competition today our little storytellers from class 1st and 2nd are going to take us on some magical journeys filled with adventures laughter and maybe even a few surprises storytelling is an art that helps us to explore different worlds through our imagination it is like painting a picture but instead of using brushes and colors we use words and our voices so before we begin let us introduce our judges for today's competition we are honored to have with us mrs sukhvinder kaur ms priya sharma ms priti as judges for today's event let us give them a big round of applause before the starting of competition let me tell you some rules for the judgment their speaking time should lie between 2 to 3 minutes now let us begin our storytelling journey may i invite our first storyteller that is token number 301 one Once upon a time, there lived three big fish in a lake. One of them, one of them, was wise. He was very careful in his thought. Another was intelligent, intelligent and resourceful. But the third fish also believed in fate. but the ready to leave i will find a way escape i cannot leave this place burn whatever happens is my fate the wise the wise fish the wise fish left the place immediately the next day fisherman came and cast their net there are two friends not live in a lake and go to another lake the second fish said i will not leave this lake when the fisherman will come I will find a safe to myself. The third fish said, "I will not. I have lived this lake all my life and will not leave it." He believed in fate. The first fish did not want to take risk and left for. another lake the next morning the fisherman come and cast their net the two friends were caught in the net the resourceful fish throw off a way out good morning everyone uh, i am going to narrate the story the title of my story is the greedy farmer let's start once upon a time there was a poor farmer named bansi his family lived in poverty they were very sad one day bansi went to the jungle to cut some trees there he found a wounded goose he bought her home and took good care of her the goose was very happy she thought of rewarding to bansi and his family she laid one golden egg on that morning the uh, on that morning when bansi came to feed the goose surprised to see the golden egg he called his wife he and he sold the 
One day, a very big idea came to the Panchi mind. He thought, if the magic goose laid one golden egg every morning, how many eggs will be inside the goose? If I get the goose, if I cut the goose and open it, I can become very rich in a single day. So he killed the goose and opened it, but he could not find any golden egg inside the goose. Of his greed living, he lost his golden eggs and his magic goose. The moral of my story is the greed is a curse. Thank you. Very good performance. Let us invite our uh, next performance. That is token number 304. Good morning all of you. Today I am going to tell a story. My story name is Capsule and the Monkey. Once there was a capsule who used to sell the cap when he was selling the cap and saying like caps, 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 beautiful caps for sale. Rupees, twenty. Rupees twenty, rupees ten, rupees fifty, red cap, pink cap, grey cap, whatever color do you want? I have so many caps. His caps were in good quality. After long walk, he got tired and decided to take some rest. He lay down under a set of large tree and put his body next to him. Soon he fell asleep. On the tree there were so many monkeys. They came down and took the cap and climbed over the tree again. After some time, Capsular woke up and he found his cap for missing and saying like who took all my cap? Suddenly he looked up on the tree. There were so many monkeys wearing his cap. Capsire got angry and shouted, Give back my cap by waving his hand. But the monkeys did not give. Capsire was a wise man. He knew monkeys love to imitate. So he clapped with their hand and monkeys also clapped with their hand. After this, Capsula threw his cap on the ground and monkey also threw their cap on the ground. Quickly, pull out all the caps and went away happily. Moral of the story, wisdom helps in difficult situation. Thank you. What a fantastic performance. Now let us invite our next performer that is token number 305 token number, please come on the stage. Good morning everyone, my name is Nakira Singh. Good morning everyone, my name is Nakira Singh. I study in first C class. My story name is The, the Cat Seller and the Monkeys. When there was a cat seller, he was selling the cat. Cap, cap, cap. Five rupees, cap. Ten rupees, cap. Five, ten. After some time, he became very tired. He decided to take rest under the big tree. There were many monkeys on the big tree. They saw the cat seller was sleeping under the big tree. They came down, took the cap, took the cap, and there it. The cat 
Yes, I love work up. He's off. The basket empty. This are the cats. The monkeys wearing the cap. They they stone on the the monkeys throw on mangoes on the cat cellar. The cat cellar and idea took the cat throw in the grass and and the monkeys took the cat throw in the grass. The cat cellar took the cat throw in the basket. Moral wisdom is better than weapon of war. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes, he has explained it well. Now let us welcome our next contestant. That is topper number three zero six. Good morning to you all. My name is Gunuka. My story name is the monkey and the capsule. One the capsule was going to sell his caps in a village market. Caps, caps, caps. Five rupees caps, ten rupees caps, caps, caps. He was going through a forest. He was carrying a basket of red caps. On his head, he got tired in the heat of the sun and thought of lying down under a tree for some time. He put his basket on the ground. I'm so tired. Let me take a small nap. There were monkeys on that tree. They came down and one by one took all the caps. From the capsule. Then they climbed on the tree. When the capsule woke up, he was shocked to see his basket on the tree. He searched for his cats everywhere. To his surprise, he saw the monkeys were wearing them. He he found that the monkeys were imitating him, so he started throwing his cap down, and the monkeys did so. The cap seller collected all the caps, put them back in his basket, and went away happily. Moral where there is a will, there is a way. Thank you. Yes, what a good performance. Now, let us invite our next token number 307. Clap for him. Everyone, my name is Indirat Gar from First B class. The story: The monkey is the cat seller. This enjoyment me start. Once there was a cat seller in the town on a fine day. He was selling caps, 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 5 rupees caps, 10 rupees caps. After he made few sales of caps, he became very tired. He decided to sit under the big tree to take for rest for a while. Soon, soon he slipped off. 
there were many monkeys on the big tree they saw the cat seller was sleeping under the big tree the monkey sit the monkey sitting where under the big on the big tree the monkeys come down to the the to the cats from cat seller bags for them the then the then the tree again then then they then they capsule woke up he was shocked to see his basket empty the searching for cat to the he, to his surprise the monkeys were wearing the cat and i cat seller is a had idea the monkeys the cat seller his his cat throw in the grass monk the monkeys also put the cat on the grass the cat seller collect all cat in his bucket and away went away happily more of the stories common sense help a person solve the problem thank you have a nice day clap for him yes he has explained it well now let us welcome our next performer that is token number 308 Good morning to you all today Good morning to you Good morning to you all My name is Good morning to you all My name is Adambir of class 7C Today the story is the greedy farmer Once there was a poor farmer named Bansi His family lived in poverty and they were very sad One day his wife told to him to go to a other village and earn some good money. He did not pay any attention. Soon there was no money left for them. One day went to the jungle to cut some trees. Here he found a wounded Here Here he found a wounded dude. Here he found a wounded dude. He brought her home. and to do their offer the dude was so happy that she thought and revised and bunsi and his family the dude slave one the dude slave one told and at that morning when bunsi come to feed him he saw the golden egg and told his wife he sold the golden egg and bring things for his family the dude started laying golden eggs as he Day. The two started laying golden eggs every day, and soon they become very rich. One, one day, a very wicked idea came to Bunsy's mind. He thought to himself, "If the magical two lay one golden egg, one golden egg every day, how many golden will be inside the two? If I cut." and open i can become very rich in a single day he till the dude and
and no at inside with all of his big red he lost his magical dos and her golden ass the moral of the story is do not be greedy thank you very well done he has given his best now let us call our next performer that is token number 309 Good morning, everyone. My name is Namikan Chan. I am second B class. I today recite story of the milkmaid and her pet. Molly is a milkmaid. Molly is a milkmaid who lives in a village with her with her mother. She sells milk. to the village thought the she and her mother live happily by selling molly food by selling molly food with her mother need and also her own need and wishes she has her dream world where molly's wishes from every new things that she dreams every time she gets money from selling milk she dreams of like fairy dresses jewelry candy etc but one but one day her dream her dreams break down and she leaves the related file there is no, nothing wrong with thinking about the in our not thought thought and day dreaming is not very good for us so in the mid main and her pain story we read how molly's dream break and how learned to focus on her moral of the story is just do not count your chicken before they are hatched it means that we should not day dream about things that have not happened thank you yes very good she has done well now let us call our next participant that is contestant number 310 hello everyone my name is shantanu i am from second b class today i am speaking a story of the milkmaid and her pet one day the mini milkmaid was going to the market she was carrying a pair of her on her head she became thinking about what she do with money by selling the milk i will buy some hands from sirhana he the hand lay as every morning i sell the as she said Then I buy a pink frock and the red shoes. With the money, I will dress myself, go to the market. All young men will follow me. My friends see me, will be very jealous. But I care. Should shall look at her and thought my head. She she thought. He had bags. The pail of milk is bad. All milk is bad, and the pail of milk is bad. She big. She visit back home sadly. The moral of the story is: we not be greedy. Not be greedy. We should success. We should hard working and successful in life. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Clap for her. Let us call our next token number three hundred three hundred eleven. Good morning, everyone. 
My name is Nirvi Sandy. My poem is Three Fishes. Once upon a time, there lived three big fishes in a lake. They were close friends, but were very different from each other. First, the first one was very wise. She always did everything after careful thought. The second fish was very cheerful and intelligent. She would always use her brain to find solution for any problem. The third fish was the third fish was believed in fact. She believed that whatever was to happen would happen. Nobody could change it. First fish had hit the old tall of fisherman. That's why she left the lake second and third. The second the second fish do not save her life. In intelligence, the third fish and the third one believed in believed in live moral thing positive. Thank you. Have a nice day. Clap for her. So nicely she has explained her story. Now let us call our next contestant that is token number 312. My story name is the greedy farmer. Once there was a farmer, her name was Bansi. They lived in poverty and they were very sad. One day his wife told to go to another village and earn some good money. But he didn't and pay attention, any attention. Soon they had no money left for them. One day he went to the jungle to cut some trees. They found a wound and goose. He brought her home and took good care of her. The goose was so happy that she thought Rewarding Bansi and his family. In some way, they live one golden egg in morning. Then Bansi come and feed the goose. They saw golden egg and call his wife. He saw golden egg and brought some things for his family. The goose. The goose was slain golden as every morning they become very rich. One day very wicked idea came to Bunsi. Mind he thought to himself If the magic goose lay one golden egg every day, how many golden eggs in goose? If I cut open the goose, I become very rich in a single day. He killed the goose and cut open. But there was no golden egg inside because of his greedy. They lost magic goose and her golden egg. The moral of the story is do not be greedy. Thank you. Yes, that was a wonderful story. Now, let us call our next participant, that is token number 313. Good morning everyone. Title is The Greedy Farmer. Once there was a greedy farmer named Bansi. His family lived in poverty and they were very sad. One Bansi one day went to the jungle to cut some trees. There he found no air to cut some trees. 
Daddy found a wounded goose. He brought her home and took good care of her. The, the, uh, the goose was so happy. So happy. There. The goose laid one golden egg that morning. When Bunsy came to feed the goose, he found the golden eggs. He saw that golden eggs. The, the goose started laying one golden egg that morning. And soon they became very rich. He, he, to thaw, he thought himself. If I cut open the goose, I can become very rich in a single day. But he killed the goose, but he found no eggs. Because of his greed, he lost her magic goose and her golden eggs. For the first story, his greed is a curse. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes, clap for her students. She has given her best. Now let us call our next participant that is token number 314. Good morning everyone. My title name is the greedy farmer. Let's start. Once upon a time there was a poor farmer named Bunsi. His family lived in poverty and they were very sad. Bunsi one day went to the jungle to cut some tree. There he found there he found a wanted goose. He brought her home and took good care of her. The goose was so happy that she thought of rewarding Bunsy and his family in some way. Bunsy and his family in some way. One day the goose won golden egg that morning. When Bunsy came to feed the goose, he saw the golden egg and called his wife. He sold that golden egg, bought things for his family. The goose started laying golden egg every morning and soon they become very rich. One day Bunsi he thought to himself, if I cut open the goose, I can become very rich in a single day. He killed the goose and cut open, but he found no egg inside the goose he, because of his greedy. He, he lost his magic and golden egg. Moral of the story is greed is a curse. Thank you. Thank you for giving your best. Now our next contestant is token number 350. Good morning everyone. My name is Myanshi Nakpa. I study in first state class. My story name is Cap Seller and the Monkey. When there was a cap seller in a town, on one day he was selling caps 
caps, 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 five rupees caps, ten rupees caps, five, ten. After selling caps, he became tired. He decided to take a rest under the tree for a while. Soon he slept off. There were many monkeys on the tree. There are cats and a bear sleeping under the tree. The monkeys came down and took the cats from the cats and a bear and walked them. Then they climbed up again. Cats and a walker. He shot to the basket empty. He saw. The monkeys were wearing them. We are wearing them. We are wearing them. Caps and a throw stones. Monkeys. Caps and a throw stones. Monkeys and the monkey throw mango. Caps. And the monkey threw mango. He found that the monkeys were imitating him. He had an idea. Cap and the throw cap on the grass, and the monkey also threw cap on the grass. Cap and the collected it and went away happy. Moral: Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Thank you. Clap for her. So nicely she has explained it. Now let us call our next participant, three hundred sixteen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ishita from class second day. My story is a milkmaid and her pet. Once there was a milkmaid named Mini. She was going to the market. She was carrying a pail of milk on her head. She was thinking about what to do with money she got from the milk. I will buy some hands from Mr. Rahim. The hands legs. Eggs every morning. Then I will buy. I will sell the eggs. She said. Then I will buy myself pink frock and red shoes. And I will go to the market. All the young men will follow me. My friend Sima will be very jealous. And so thought she tossed her back. Head back. The pail fell down. All the milk was spilled, and she went back home. The moral of the story is: do not be greedy, and do hard work, and sacrifice in the life. Thank you. Clap for her. Very good performance. Let us call our next participant, three hundred seventeen, on the stage. Clap for him. Clap for her, sir. Good morning to all. My name is Nana Sharma. So, my story is cap seller and monkey. One there was a cap seller in a town. On one fine day, he decided to fume it. On one fine day. He decided to take rest for a while. Of slipped off. He is very tired. There are so many monkeys in the big tree. Monkey took the cap. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Yes, she has given her best. Now let us call our next contestant, token number 313. Good morning, one and all present here. My name is Jivan from 2nd C class. Today my story is The Milkmaid and Her Pay. One day Minnie was milkmaid going to the market. She was carrying a pail of, pail of milk on her head. She began thinking about what we should do with money. And she said, I will buy some hands for Mrs. Rahim. Hands would lay eggs. Every morning I will sell the eggs. She said, I will buy a print frog and raggy shoes with the money. I will dress myself and go to the market. All the young men will follow me. My friend Sima will be very jealous. Shall look. But why should I care and look at her and toss her head? The pain fell down. She back home said thank you. Have a nice day. Clap for him. He has given her best. Now let us call our next participant on the stage. Token number 319. Good morning to everyone. My name is Adivyam Girl, class second day. My, today is a desired story, milkmaid and his pen. Molly is a milkmaid who lives in a village with her mother. She sells, she sells milk to the villagers. Through she and her mother live happily by selling milk. Molly fulfills her mother's need and also over need and wishes. Mo, mo, she dream world we have Molly for every new thing that she dream every time she gets money from things like like can candies jewelry fairy and dresses etc but one day breaks down and she realized the reality while there is nothing wrong we thinking about we thinking about she dream thoughts is not very good for us so in the milkman and the spell story we read how molly's milkman and her pen her main moral of the story is that do not count your chickens before they are chicks. It means that we should not dream things happen. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much for giving your best. Now let us call our next participant, token number 320. Good morning everyone, my name is Tapitko from class first C. My story is three fishes. Once upon a time, there lived three big fish in a lake. One of them was wise, he was very careful in his thought. Another was intelligent and thoughtful. But the third fish always believed in faith. One day when the wise fish was sleeping about in water, he heard a fisherman saying, Oh, this lake is full of good fishes. 
let us fish share tomorrow we can earn lot of money hearing this the wise fish went to the other fish and told them what he heard he advised them to leave the place immediately i was born here it is my birth place but the wise fish left the place immediately next day when the fisherman came and caught the net the two friends who did not leave the place were caught there in net the intelligent fish was pretended to be dead so fisherman throw him in along in water with the other many dead fish the third one who believed in fate kept jump up and down moral of the story we should not believe in fate thank you She has done well. Now let us call our next participant, token number three hundred twenty-one. Once upon a time, there lived a poor farmer named Bansi. They lived in a poverty, and they were very sad. One day. his wife told him to go to any another village and earn some good money but he was not paid any attention one day he went to the jungle to cut some trees they found a wooden goose and took her home and to good care of her that she thought of recording bunsi and and his family in some way and his family in some way one day the goose lay one golden egg that morning when bunsi came to feed the goose to see to see the golden egg and called his wife the, the he sold that golden egg and brought things for his family the goose started laying golden egg every morning soon they became very rich one day a very wicked idea came to bunsi's mind the goose lay one golden egg every morning how many golden egg will be inside the goose if i cut open the goose how many golden egg will be inside the goose when bunsi cut open the goose they found no golden egg will be because of this greed the the loss of golden egg and her goose thank you clap for her
Now let us welcome our last performer that is token number 322. Good morning all of you. My story name is The Tale of Three Fishes. Once upon a time, there lived three big fishes in a lake. They were close friends, but were very different from each other. The first one was very wise. She always did everything after careful thought. The second fish was very intelligent. The third fish believed in fate. One day while playing in the water near the shore, he heard fisherman say, Ho ho, this lake is full of fishes. We can earn a lot of money. Hearing this, the wise fish went to other two fish and told them what he heard. The 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 intelligent fish was not ready to leave. The third fish also not ready to leave. The wise fish ready to leave. Next day, fisherman came and cast their net. And the two friends who did not leave the play, who did not leave the lake, the the intelligent fish pretended to be dead. The the th the play fish. Kept jumping up and down. Moral of the story: We should not believe in fate. Yes, clap for her. She has explained her well and has uh, given her best. Now, what an amazing day filled with delightful stories. Each one of you did a fantastic job, and we could all feel the magic in your words. Now, I would like to thank. to our school principal for giving our this opportunity thank you to our judges for your time and thoughtful decisions and thank you to all wonderful storytellers last but not the least thank you all the teachers and students for being such a wonderful audience with that we come to the end of our storytelling competition keep dreaming keep imagining and keep telling your stories have a great day ahead thank you